Haynes, welcome, sir. It's a pleasure. The pleasure's all mine. Your agenda. That won't be necessary. I am the agenda. <laughs> tell them I've arrived. And then tell them I've arrived. And your name is? Hayek. F.A. Hayek. Freddy. Yep. Haynes. Hey, listen, party at the Fed. Already? 20 minutes. Lobby. John Maynard Keynes. Uh, F.A. Hayek. Yeah, yeah, we're opposed. We oppose each other philosophically in the same studio. We've been going back and forth for a century. I want to steer markets. I want them set free. There's a boom and bust cycle and good reason to fear it. Play low interest no. rates. It's the animal spirit. John Maynard Keynes wrote the book on modern macro. The man you need when the economy's off track. Whoa. Depression, recession, now your question's in session. Have a seat and I'll school you in one simple lesson. Boom, 1929, the big crash. We didn't bounce back, economies in the trash. Persistent unemployment, the result of sticky wages. Waiting for recovery, that's outrageous. I had a real plan, any fool can understand. The advice real simple, who's the aggregate demand? C-I-G, all together gets to Y. Keep that total flow and watch the economy fly. We've been going back and forth for a century. I want to steer markets. I want them set free. There's a boom and bust cycle and good reason to fear. Play more interest no. rates. It's the animal spirit. You see, it's all about spending. Hear the register cha-ching. Circular flow. The dough is everything. So if that flow is getting low, doesn't matter the reason. We need more government spending. Now it's stimulus season. So forget about saving. Get it straight out of your head. Like I said, in the long run, we're all dead. Savings is destruction. That's the paradox of thrift. Don't keep money in your pocket or that growth will never live. Because business is driven by the animal spirits. The bull and the bear. And there's reasons to fear its effects on capital. Old investment, income, and growth. That's why the state should fill the gap with stimulus, both the monetary and the fiscal. They're equally correct. Public works, dig and ditches, war has the same effect. Even a broken window helps the glass man have some wealth. The multiplier driving higher the economy's health. And if the central bank's interest rate policy tanks, a liquidity trap, that new money stuck in the bank. Deficits could be the cure you've been looking for. Let the spending soar now that you know the score. My general theory's made quite an impression. Revolution. I transformed the econ profession. You know me, modesty. Still, I'm taking the bow. So say it loud and say it proud. We're all Keynesians now. We've been going back and forth for a century. I want to steer markets. I want them set free. There's a boom and bust cycle and good reason to fear it. I made my case, Freddie H. Listen up, can you hear it? I'll begin in broad strokes, just like my friend Keynes. His theory conceals the mechanics to change. A simple equation, too much aggregation, ignores human action. And motivation. Yet it continues as a justification for bailouts, payoffs by polls with machinations. You provide them with cover to sell us a free lunch. Then all that we're left with is debt and a bunch. If you're living high on that cheap credit hog, don't look for a cure from the hair of the dog. Real savings come first if you want to invest. The market coordinates time with interest. Your focus on spending is pushing on thread. In the long run, my friend, it's your theory that's dead. So sorry there, buddy, if that sounds like infective. Prepare to get schooled in my Austrian perspective. We've been going back and forth for a century. I want to steer markets. I want them set free. There's a boom and bust cycle and good reason to fear it. Play more interest no. rates. It's the animal spirit. The place you should study isn't the bust. It's the boom that should make you feel leery. That's the thrust of my theory. The capital structure is key. Malinvestments wreck the economy. The boom gets started with an expansion of credit. The Fed sets rates low. Are you starting to get it? That new money is confused for real loanable funds. But it's just inflation that's driving the ones who invest in new projects like housing construction. The boom plants the seeds for its future destruction. The savings aren't real. Consumption's up too. And the grasping for resources reveals there's too few. So the boom turns to bust as the interest rates rise. For the cost of production, price signals were lies. The boom was a binge. That's a matter of fact. Now it's devalued capital that makes up Slack. Whether it's the late 20s or 2005, booming bad investments seems like they thrive. You must save to invest, don't use 
the printing press, or a bus will surely follow, an economy depressed. Your so-called stimulus will make things worse. Just more of the same, more incentives perverse. And that credit crunch ain't a liquidity trap, just a broke banking system. I'm done, that's a wrap. We've been going back and forth for a century. I want to steer markets. I want them set free. There's a boom and bust cycle and good reason to fear it. Play low interest nah, rates. it's the animal spirits. The ideas of economists and political philosophers, both when they are right and when they are wrong, are more powerful than is commonly understood. Indeed, the world is ruled by little else. Practical men who believe themselves to be quite exempt from any intellectual influence are usually the slaves of some defunct economist. The curious task of economics is to demonstrate to men how little they really know about what they imagine they can design. Oh,